There was no need to prove all this be silent. Often smiling, Luis Bracamontes interrupted the prosecutor several times as the DA described in detail the events of October 24th, 2014. Be silent. You don't want to allow me to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, jury, please step out of the hallway. Dead. Judge Steve White eventually had to dismiss the jury for a short time as Bracamonte showed little remorse, being accused of killing Sacramento County Deputy Danny Oliver and Placer County Detective Mike Davis. Prosecutors told how Bracamonte stole a Placer County squad car, how responding deputies, Davis included, originally thought he was also a deputy. In the confusion, a witness was also almost accidentally shot by one of those deputies, but a last-minute decision saved his life. You regret that shit. I only tell you that regret is that is killed too. I wish I killed more of them. Luis Bracamonte's attorneys have said he's not always cooperated with them. During their opening statements, they said they're not trying to prove his innocence. We are not contesting many of these charges. Mr. Bracamonte's is responsible for the deaths of Deputy Danny Oliver and the death of Detective Michael Davis. He shot them both. His attorneys added he had smoked large amounts of methamphetamine in the days leading up to the shooting. During his outburst, Bracamontes has said if given the opportunity, he would kill again. I will break up soon and I will kill more. How is everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today, of course, we got to talk about what you just saw, that video of this fool in court. A guy by the name of Luis Bracamontes who killed two police officers in Sacramento in 2014, an illegal immigrant who had been arrested and deported many times from Arizona. He is a repeat offender, 37 years old, faces the death penalty, which I'm pretty sure that he's going to get. I mean, when you're in court talking about, yeah, I did it, you show no remorse, you're laughing, you're jovial. And this ain't the first time he's done this. He's done this in court before, probably for some of the other charges in Arizona. He's behaved the same way. So this guy obviously does not care about what he does. You even heard him say that he's going to break out and continue to kill. This is the kind of person that is the face of illegal immigration. OK, they don't fear any kind of consequence. They feel like they can do whatever they want to do. They go to these sanctuary states such as California to behave in an abhorrent way, in a criminally devious way. It's really a shame. His wife is 41 years old. She faces life in jail. I'm not quite sure exactly what she did. I assume that she was an accomplice to the murders in question. But this is just one more example of illegal immigration and the pitfalls of it. People say, oh, the people come over here. They're your fruit pickers and your bed makers. I didn't say that. Barack Obama said that fruit pickers and bed makers. OK, sure. Of course, you're going to have some of those. I mean, and every group of people that may do a wrong thing, you may have some people that do good and only do good. But obviously, people that do wrong sometimes commit crime that's heinous as well. The crime was committed already from coming into the country illegally. That's something that we can't really get beyond. But then there's worse crime than actually coming into the country illegally such as killing people, having no remorse, laughing about it in court like Luis Bracamontes did. Now, how often this case happens is really irrelevant. The point is that it does happen. Uh, some would say that it's an isolated incident. Not all illegals are this way. Hashtag not all. That's really irrelevant to the point. The point is that there's a lot of this coming over the border. Do you think that people come over here from Mexico, Guatemala, Nicaragua, Honduras? Do they come over here just... To have another Mexico, another Nicaragua, another Honduras, or did he want to come to a great country with great opportunities? They don't want trash like that following them. And if that's the case, if people come over here for a great opportunity to get away from trash like Luis Bracamontes and his wife, then you need to have some kind of security right there at the border to prevent them from coming over. Also have some kind of actual legal immigration system. It's in place right now. All we got to do is follow it. All we got to do just adhere to the rules rather than having sanctuary states like California. And it's really a shame for the people in California. I'll talk about them in a different video in a little bit more detail. But it's really a shame because you got a lot of hardworking, regular, everyday people that have to be subject to the tyranny of their rule. It's like living in a nation that is controlled by some crazy dictator, some cannibal dictator. You know, you got Jerry Brown, who is a governor, but then you've got other guys and girls, 
and others. I don't want to, you know, misgender any being out there, but these other so-called humans that do things that are against the will of the people do things that totally just don't jive with what's going on. And the main thing in this case, as I close is being a sanctuary state who really wants that the people that are in front of television cameras to try and get your vote because they think that you are just an idiot liberal who cannot see the forest for the trees. I don't have too much more to say about it. I say at the end of the day, Luis Bracamontes, hopefully he gets that death penalty, the rope chair, firing squad, needle, whatever the case may be. Do not prolong it. Do not have him in jail for 20 years, giving them three hots in the cot. You know, just get straight to the point. I mean, he's already confessed in court. He's shown no remorse. I mean, what's going to change between now and then? You caught him red-handed. He killed two police officers. He says he's going to break out and kill again. So before he's able to even devise a plan to try and break out, go ahead and get rid of him right now and move on with your day. Save the taxpayers of California who are already taxed to the, beyond their nose and eyes, you know, up to the top of their head in taxes. Relieve them of that tax pressure. And the wife, I'm not quite sure exactly what she did, but I'm sure that she was an accomplice in some form or fashion to these murders. I'm sure that she knew who she was with. And if nothing else, her being a legal citizen, she's definitely harboring not only a fugitive of the law, but also an illegal alien. So I don't have much sympathy for her. I say put her in one of them tent cities out there far away in the desert, somewhere like IE, uh, <laughs> you know, way far past Stockton or whatever the case. Don't give her the lap of luxury penitentiary setting. But what do you think? Do you think this case is yet another example of why illegal immigration is a serious issue? Do you think it's a case that people are using inappropriately for whatever the reason may be. I'm not really sure how I could use it inappropriately. I mean, this is case. I mean, this case is pretty much cut and dry. This guy went and killed two officers had committed other crimes before in Arizona. Somehow went from Arizona to Sacramento, California to go on a crime spree and then kill two police officers. I mean, it's a pretty cut and dry thing, but do you think this guy deserves sympathy? Do you think that uh, we need to look at his past to see if he was abused to see, or, you know, whatever else is going on with him? I don't think so. I think at the end of the day, if you do the crime, do the time, whether it's just a short period of time before you get the rope or a long period of time where they make you suffer. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Peace.